guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new to my channel if you are new my name is Natalie I do college beauty and lifestyle videos so if you're interested in those type of videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and without further ado I'm just gonna jump right into this video let's just say the day has finally come where I am going to be unboxing the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II and I'm so excited to start filming with this camera. My boyfriend got this for me for my birthday, which was yesterday. If you haven't seen my birthday vlog, I'll link it up here and you guys can go check that out. And the main reason why I had wanted this camera is because one, the camera that I have now is the Canon T3i, which I love using for like makeup videos or any home videos. And I mainly use that on a tripod. I don't ever take that out of my house. Um, and I do not use that for vlogging because it is super big and bulky and it's also very heavy to hold for vlogging. And then the second reason why I had decided to invest or ask for a camera for my birthday was because I have been vlogging on my iPhone for I want to say a good year and a half, maybe two years. It's been a while and there's nothing wrong with vlogging on an iPhone. Like I think the iPhone quality is very awesome. I have been vlogging on my iPhone for a very long time and I think the quality is very good. If you're a beginner starting a YouTube channel and you have an iPhone, there is no need for you to buy a camera or any expensive equipment because the iPhone does just fine. But the main reason why I decided it was time for a camera was because my iPhone is a iPhone 6 Plus. So one, it's very old. Two, it's only a 16 gigabyte phone, which means it doesn't hold a lot of storage. And what I have been doing a lot recently when I vlog with my iPhone is anytime I have like certain clips that I vlog throughout the day, I can't vlog a whole day on my iPhone without my storage saying that it's full. So anytime I have like a few clips, I always have to transfer transfer them to my iPhone to my laptop and then um, delete them on my phone and then redo it all over again all day long. So after a while, it just kind of gets annoying and it's kind of like a hassle to do that. And I decided that it was time to upgrade to... Um, a vlogging camera. I did a lot of research on this. I watched a lot of YouTube videos um, and just did a lot of research before I actually asked for a camera. And a lot of vloggers use this particular camera. So one, it's obviously good and two, it's lightweight and it has a flip screen. So it's got all the features that I am looking for. I also got a two year warranty on it. Um, which is very nice. It covers any like damages or um, flip screen. Like if the flip screen doesn't flip up, if it's stuck or breaks or anything, like it covers battery replacement, everything like that. So that's very nice. Um, that's the main reason why I decided it was time for a new camera. But uh, thank you to my boyfriend for getting this for me for my birthday. You rock. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to like start vlogging with this. I cannot wait to play around with the settings and. Let's just go ahead and start opening the box. So it comes with a getting started book. And it comes with this like register Canon imaging product, I guess. I never really pay attention to these papers. I kind of just like thrown to the side and it just comes with like all this extra paper stuff I don't even know what these are for so then once you get in here you have the camera the battery the wristlet and the charging thing for the battery so I'm gonna start with the camera Very nice. Very nice. It's very lightweight. Very slick. And 
and it's got the flip screen. So obviously like, I can see what I'm doing. I can see if I'm like cutting my face off or anything like that. So I think the flip screen is like was really important for me when I was deciding on a camera. Just because it's a lot easier to see what you're doing. So that's very nice. I can't wait to like play around with this. And then it comes with a little wristlet small little battery and then the battery charger that you plug in the wall so that's everything that came in this box so I'm going to take the battery out it just slides in like that and then I'm going to go ahead and put the wristlet on so this is what the wristlet looks like and it just goes right here with this little metal hole is just gonna loop it through Just like that. And then this is what you put the battery in to charge the battery and then it just clicks in the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera on. Oh yeah, I forgot memory card. Okay, so I didn't buy, well I didn't really need a memory card because I already have some at home. And I'm actually going to grab it right here. It's in the drawer. I think. Yeah. So this is just the Ultra Plus 32 gigabyte memory card. I'm actually going to stick that in right now, but I have no idea where it goes. Oh, there's also two areas you can put the wristband. So there's a little hole right here and then there's one on this side. So I guess if you're like left hand or right hand, you can decide which side you want the wristband on. But I need to figure out where to put the memory card. Okay, well that's obviously the flash button. <laughs> oh, it goes right where the battery goes. Duh. So I'm gonna put that in. I think it goes like this, yeah. It just clicks in like that with the battery. Okay. There we go. So now it's asking me for settings. So I'm just going to set like the date and the time and everything real quick. Okay, so that's done. Very nice. I honestly, obviously have no idea what I'm doing with this thing, but the flip screen is touch screen, which is really nice. Also, this camera does have Wi-Fi. So I'm assuming you can link up the camera to your computer and transfer all the files that way, or you can take the SD card out, plug it in your computer and do it that way. That's what I normally do. But I'm curious to see how the Wi-Fi works with transferring the files from here to the computer. So I'll have to test that out. I wanna play around with the exposure real quick. Whoa, this is dark, so I need to brighten it. Ooh, this is nice. So I changed the exposure to zero because I have my window open right now. So it's pretty bright and sunny, but the um, quality is very nice. Also, I just wanna say really quickly, this is my probably gonna be my last video recording on my iPhone. I'm recording on my iPhone right now, and like, just like I said, you can film on an iPhone and the quality is still amazing. You don't need any expensive high-tech equipment to start a YouTube channel. But like I said, I just think it was time for me to upgrade. Okay, so I am currently vlogging or recording on my new 
Canon G7X Mark II camera and so far I think the quality is really nice. The only thing I have to get used to is looking at the camera lens instead of the viewfinder because I know that might get annoying to you guys when you're watching my videos and I'm looking at myself rather than actually the lens or you guys. That's one thing I will be practicing. So far, I think like the quality is really nice. I don't know if I need to turn on autofocus or if that's like automatically already turned on. So obviously I have to play with the settings a lot more, figure out the lighting and everything else, but let me know what you guys think of the quality. I cannot wait to start vlogging on this camera. Also, let me know in the comments down below if there's any specific content you guys wanna see. I will have this camera linked in the description down below so you guys can check it out. But as far as like tripod, I didn't purchase a tripod or get a tripod because I don't think I really need one right now. But eventually I will invest in a tripod and I'll probably just get the popular tripod that most YouTubers have which has like the bendy legs. Um, I don't know, I think it's called like the Gorilla tripod. I don't know, I need to look into it. But for now, I don't really need a tripod because I have like the wristlet on the camera. But I will eventually be buying one. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.